What's up, everyone? Today, we're going to design an NFT card in Figma and then convert it into a fully dynamic React component uh, that is ready to use. This video is part of a series focused on building an NFT landing page. We're going to walk through how to build this card step by step. It'll be fast because we're using a Figma plugin called Rendition that allows us to get React components directly from Figma designs. And if you'd like to try it out, the link to Rendition is in the description of this video. All right, starting out with this design. Uh, first, we want to go ahead and design our card in Figma. We have a couple of the building blocks already uh, laid out for us. Um, but there's a couple of things I want to call out as we're designing. One, we're going to use auto layout. That gives us kind of flex box within Figma, which should be helpful as we convert to code. We're going to use rendition to get the code for our design uh, once we're done, um, but we don't need that yet. So I'll close out of that for uh, right now. And then um, we just kind of start dragging stuff in here. It's pretty, pretty easy how all that's going to work. Um, we can get rid of that. Just drag our our building blocks in. You know, I cheated a little bit on this design because I already have these like, gradients and and button um, stuff to find the text styles and the image, but you'll get the overall idea. Um, so for this card, um, we want to actually have one column of this, these two things, and then one column, we want this over here on the right. Um, but in order to do that, like in, like in code, uh, we need to add some additional structure. So we'll group these together and we can call that um, artist and title here in Figma. And then we'll group these together and we'll call this uh, card info. Actually, let's just call this info container. And uh, the way we're going to get it laid out how we want is just with auto layout again, stretch it to the width that we want, and then actually do space between, which is basically the same as justify content. And then I would actually like the order to be switched. So there's our card. It's pretty much, uh, pretty much good, pretty happy with that. So now let's get the code. So open up rendition. Rendition allows us to get uh, code from Figma Designs. We just click it and then um, we can open it up. And it'll basically compile this design into a React uh, component. And here we open up and we see it rendered here on the right. A lot of the work has pretty much been done for us. So uh, that's really nice. I'll, I'll make this a little larger be easier to see the code. And we'll just kind of walk through the code first to see what we've got. We're doing um, styling with styled components. And what that does, it actually makes us have a nice readable JSX here. So we see our, our root um, and uh, that's our overall container. We have our, our image for our NFT. Uh, we have then all of our info here and that info is broken down into two, just like in Figma, artist and title, and then our current bid. Um, our place a bid button and is down here at the bottom. So um, here's our styles. We have about say 60 something lines of styles here. And uh, we just have a couple more things to do um, to call this really nice and good. The first and most obvious is we need our props to be dynamic. Um, anything that's going to change between uses of this card, we want to lift up um, as our, our props to be inputs to this component. Uh, and so there's a couple obvious ones, but we'll just go to where this card is imported and go ahead and define those. So um, let's say artist. Um, we'll say bid 0.005 ETH, and then we'll go ahead and do this at concerned bird. That's our artist name, and then const title, and this is just going to be equal to blob, and then um, our image. So, and this is going to be a URL, um, which we can actually just get. So, one thing rendition does is it goes ahead and hosts our assets our static assets in a cloud bucket for us so we can just use them as uh, URLs. 
but we could equally do this by downloading the asset and then importing it within our file system, just like we normally would. So uh, now we have our four props defined here, but now let's supply them to our component. So say artist equals artist, bid equals bid, title is title, and then image is image. Nothing too complex there. So uh, now we need to use our props. So I say artist, title, image, bid. And this should be image. And then we have our title here. And then our artist right here. And then we've got our bid right here. And so now all of our props are dynamic. If we change them over here, we'll see it render an update. And if we were to, uh, we could always use, say we wanted to do uh, two cards on the same page. Of course, we can provide different values. So now I've got two cards and we could say one is Rob and we have that updated. So that's the, that's the use, that's the utility of propifying our component. Uh, so now just a couple other things that we want to do first is let's fix this button. Um, so we want this to be a button that affects a little bit of the style when we change it from a div to a button. So we get rid of that height property. And then um, we can say border none and then a cursor pointer. So now it's looking like a proper button here. Um, our color is a little different. So the last thing we need to do is copy over these linear gradients. Uh, Figma gives us these pretty much ready to go. And do just like that. And then finally, we'll get this gradient here for our root component. And actually, let's rename this NFT card root. And then we'll just put background our linear gradient. And now that is looking uh, just like just like our card in, in Figma. Um, took us less than 10 minutes. And uh, that's one of the nice things about rendition is it kind of gives us the starting code that is about 90% of the way there, speeds up a lot of the more you know repetitive tasks of doing CSS and laying out the overall structure of what we're doing. So we hope rendition helps you work faster as you're going from Figma into React code. If you have any recommendations of videos we can make that will be helpful for you, uh, let me know in the comments. And otherwise, feel free to check out Rendition. The link is in the description to this video.